by your stripes we are healed lord by your nail pierced hands we are free by your precious blood we are washed clean and now we have your victory lord the victory by your stripes we are healed by his nail pierced hands we are free by his blood we are washed clean now we have the victory now we have the victory by your stripes we are healed lord by your nail pierced hands we are free by your precious blood we are washed clean and now we have your victory lord the victory by your stripes we are healed by his nail pierced hands by his nail we are free by his blood we are washed clean now we have the victory now we have the victory by your stripes we are healed lord by your nail pierced hands we are free by your precious blood we are washed clean and now we have your victory lord the victory by his stripes we are healed by his nail pierced hands we are free by his blood we are washed clean now we have the victory now we have the victory power of sin is broken Jesus overcame it all. Jesus overcame it all. He has won our freedom. He has won. Jesus has won it all. Jesus has won it all. The power of sin is broken. Jesus has overcome it all. Come on my friend. He has won our freedom and Jesus has won it all for us. Power of sin is broken. Jesus overcame it all. Jesus overcame it all. He has won our freedom. He has won our freedom. Jesus has won it all. Jesus has won it all. The power of sin is broken. Jesus has overcome it all. Come on, my friend. He has won our freedom. and Jesus has won it all for us power of sin is broken Jesus overcame it all Jesus overcame it all he has won our freedom he has won our freedom Jesus has won it all Jesus has won it all hallelujah yes hallelujah We have won the victory, Lord Jesus. You have won the victory. Yes, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me, Lord. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. You have won the victory, Lord Jesus. You have won the victory. Yes, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me, Lord. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory, Lord Jesus. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me, Lord. You have won it all. Let go not hold you down. You are the risen king. Seated in majesty. Yes. Oh yes you are the risen king lord you are the risen king 
Thank you, Jesus. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Seated in majesty, yes. Oh yes, you are the risen King, Lord. You are the risen King. Thank you, Jesus. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Seated in majesty, yes. Oh yes, you are the risen King, Lord. You are the risen King. Thank you, Jesus. By stripes, we are healed. By his nail pierced hands, we are free. By his blood, we are washed clean. Now we have the victory. By stripes, we are healed. By his nail pierced hands, we are free. By His blood, we are washed clean. Now we have the victory. By His stripes, we are healed. By His nail pierced hands, we are free. By His blood, we are washed clean. Now we have the victory. Power of sin is broken. Power of sin is broken. Jesus overcame it all. He has won our freedom. Jesus has won it all. Power of sin is broken. Power of sin is broken. Jesus overcame it all. He has won our freedom. Jesus has won it all. The difference between success and defeat in our life is our confidence that must be in God and in His Word when we are going through the midst of trouble and challenges. One of the tools the enemy uses to attack our confidence in God is self-doubt which is a manifestation of fear. Self-doubt if left to develop will strip us of our effectiveness as Christians and keep us from fulfilling the destiny that God has for us. What is this self-doubt? It is about talking about our doubting our abilities, doubting who we are in Christ and doubting what God has called us to do. People who deal with this type of fear are constantly questioning themselves and God instead of having faith in what God has put on the inside of them. Instead of being confident and fearless, they are always battling negative self-talking. Keep in mind, there is a difference between asking God a legitimate question and questioning Him. Let us go and see an example. Questioning God is found in Matthew 11 verse 2 and 3. In this passage, John the Baptist was in prison and he began to doubt whether Jesus really was the Messiah because he was offended. Now when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto them, Are you he that should come or do we look for another? Now John was present when God declared that Jesus was his beloved son 
and he heard the voice of the father however he expected jesus to come and get him out of prison when things did not go as he had hoped he began to doubt the lord and as a result questioning came on the scene satan is the king of questions and his job is to cause us to wonder whether god's word is even true we can identify whether self doubt is becoming prevalent in our lives by examining the questions that keep coming up concerning the things we are going through that is feeling guilty all the time is an indication that you are doubting whether we are truly been made righteous through the blood of jesus whether we are doing the right thing at any given point a feeling whether i should be praying while i am reading the bible so these are tormenting thoughts by self doubt and they feel as if they haven't done enough for god their family or the world many christian don't really believe the word of god anymore and as a result they inflict more condemnation upon themselves which only pushes them away from the things of god the truth is when we operate in self doubt we are actually being double minded james 1:5 if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of god that give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not and it shall be given him but let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the lord a double minded man is unstable in on his ways when a person is double minded he is unstable when we believe god one day and the next day we question whether his word is true we are being double minded and according to the bible we are unstable in not just some of our ways but all our ways being double minded opens the door to self doubt in many areas of our lives and keeps us from receiving from god it takes confidence to remain grounded in the truth of the word even when circumstances tell you a different story self doubt demonic attack designed to destroy our self esteem and keep us from getting answers to our prayers satan question eve with the same question satan launched an attack on adam and eve two people who clearly heard god instruct them not to eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil when satan began to question them about what god had spoken they paid attention to his words consequently they began to doubt what god had said as well as doubt that they were actually made in god's image when it was all said and done their enemy convinced them that they did not even know what god had told them to jesus for your word for your truth o lord thank you lord power of sin is broken jesus overcame it all he has won our freedom jesus has won it all he has won our freedom jesus has won it jesus by your stripes we are healed oh lord lord milk his hands oh lord we are set us free oh lord by your precious blood oh lord we are cleansed we are purified we are sanctified we are redeemed we are made righteous we have the victory oh lord the power of sin is broken from our life jesus you overcame it all for us you have won our freedom oh lord we declare we are free we are free we are free jesus has won it all for us thank you jesus thank you jesus death has no power over us jesus is alive jesus you have won the victory jesus you reign on high yes lord jesus is risen you are alive jesus he has won the victory he reigns on high Come on everybody our god is risen 
He is alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Our God is risen. He is alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Our God is risen. He is alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Our God is risen. He is alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Come on, everybody, 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 everybody. Our God is risen. He is alive. Come on. He won the victory. Everybody, celebrate. He reigns on high. Oh yeah, 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 God is risen. He's alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Our God is risen. He's alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Jesus, our God is risen. Jesus is alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Come on, come on, our God is risen. He's alive. He won the victory. He's on high, he reigns on high. He is the most high, he reigns on high. Our God is risen. He's alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Our God is risen. He is alive. He won the victory. He reigns on high. Hallelujah. You won the victory, Lord. Come on everybody, hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Come on, hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus, you have won it all for me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. We have won the victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, our Father. You have won it all for me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding me, for teaching me, for revealing me the truth, so Lord. Hallelujah. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King. Yes, yes, yes. Seated in majesty. You are the risen King, Lord. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen King, the victorious one. Seated in majesty, covered by your glory, Lord. You are the risen King, full of love and compassion. Oh yes, death could not hold you down. Thank you for your love, Lord. You are the risen King, the King who is full of love, full of care and kindness, seated in majesty. You are the risen King. Oh, 
oh yes death could not hold you down no way you are the risen king seated in majesty you are the risen king come on one last time come on death could not hold you down Yes Lord you are the risen king You are the risen seated in majesty seated in majesty You're the risen king You are the risen king Breaking free from the cycle of self doubt requires an understanding an execution of some important keys in order to overcome this attack on your confidence you must first of all believe the love god has for you overcoming self doubt is all about cultivating confidence and when you believe the love god has for you it is a huge confidence booster our word does not come from external factors such as our looks salaries or whether other people approve of us or validate us our worth is determined by the fact that god loved us so much that he sent his son jesus to die on our behalf he purchased us with his blood therefore we are valuable the love of god extended towards us validates us and makes us worthy to be called sons and daughters of the most high we must have confidence in this love in order to eradicate self doubt second point is that stop second guessing yourself and do what god told you to do matthew 14:28 gives the account of peter walking on the water towards jesus in the scripture peter overcame all self doubt and doubt in god in order to do something supernatural however the second he began to look at the water and pay attention to the waves crashing around him he began to sink the thing i want to focus on is that peter had ultimate confidence in his ability to walk on the water when jesus said come he didn't second guess himself or god in those moments he obeyed god instantly that's the kind of water walking faith and focus we must possess if we want to be overcomers in life third if there is one thing that will destroy our confidence in god and his love it is condemnation we must not allow condemning thoughts to undermine our self worth when we give attention to negative words and condemning self talk it eats away our ability to receive from god first john 1:9 says that if we confess our sins God is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. When we take a second thought about whether our sins are forgiven, we can't move forward. Just like Peter walking on the water, we simply must take God at his word. Only by meditating on the word consistently will it become planted in our hearts. When thoughts of condemnation come, which will produce condemning feelings we must immediately deal with those thoughts by casting them down second corinthians 10 4 and 5 says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ every day we will be faced with thoughts that try to exalt themselves above God's word when the enemy tries to destroy our confidence with doubt where God's love and forgiveness are concerned we cannot just sit back and allow him to control our thinking it's time for us to open our mouth yes and declare what the bible says we are forgiven and accepted by god we have to know what the word of god says about us 
so we can fight the thoughts that seek to tear down our identity in Christ. We must fight thoughts of condemnation by speaking the word in faith. Self-doubt is an enemy of our faith and like any other enemy, it can be overcome with the word of God. It is not God's will for us to be double-minded, but it is up to us to fill ourselves with the word and meditate on it day and night according to Joshua 1.8. As a result, our confidence will soar and we will be able to make sound decisions and maintain our position in Christ without doubt, fear or condemnation. Yes, becoming single-minded and focused on what God has promised us will help us rise up yes about the ditches of life and turn our defeats into victory in jesus name amen hallelujah you have won the victory lord hallelujah you have won it all for me Come on, tell the Lord, you have won it all for me. One more time, hallelujah. You have won the victory for me, Lord. You have won the victory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus, the King of Kings, you have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the risen king. Seated in majesty. You are the risen king. The king of kings, the lord of lords. Death could not hold you down. The lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. You are the risen king. The resurrection power is given to us. Thank you, Lord. You are seated in majesty, anointing us to go and proclaim the word with authority. You are the risen King, confirming the word with accompanying signs and wonders by the power of your Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, death could not hold you down. You have won the victory, Lord. And giving us the victory every day for life. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me, Lord. Thank you for the anointing. We can cast out demons and heal the sick and proclaim the word with authority. You have won the victory. Thank you, Lord, for your agape love that we can operate in this agape love. You have given us the victory over selfishness O oh Lord hallelujah thank you for the victory Lord thank you for the agape love O oh Lord thank you for the forgiveness O oh Lord we are able to forgive by the victory that we have received yes you are the risen king seated in majesty Lord you are the risen king yes Lord Could not hold you down. You are the risen king, the mighty king, seated in majesty, seated on your throne, O Lord, interceding for us, seated at the right hand of the Father. You are the risen king, the high priest, restoring our relationship with the Father, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Your anointing that destroys the work of the devil, O oh Lord. Thank you. You have set your people free. Chains and shackles are broken. Bondages are broken. Curses are broken in the name of Jesus. The fire anointing. Receive the fire anointing. Receive the fire anointing. Receive, 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 receive. The fire anointing. The fire anointing. The fire anointing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, your life is set on fire. Fire on you in Jesus name, fire on you in Jesus name, fire on you in the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen and Amen and Amen and Amen.